Obscura, uh, our band from... Fuck, I don't know where they're from. I'll put it on the screen now. I am whack. Welcome, welcome back to Buffalo State. <laughs> for us album review of the year, already out here fucking shit up. You know how it is. But yeah, this is a Screamo album. It's 19 minutes long. And let me tell you something. I'm really fucking into this album. I think it's awesome. It's, it's, it's so fucking blistering. Jesus Christ. It is breakneck intensity for 19 minutes. And the lyrics are fucked. God, this whole album just sounds like a huge cathartic release from someone who's just been shat on their whole life. They're just all getting out in this fucking album. And, and in that sense, I guess you could say it's quite a triumphant and like, and like, yeah, fucking get it all off your chest kind of album that just feels really like invigorating or something. But it never really comes off that way. This thing is just, it's, it's just the, the lyrics, the right. You got songs like uh, Flower Offering, which this track seems to depict uh, someone who's hung themselves because they've been treated like shit the whole life and it's just like just the, just the absolute just like horror of that scenario is just so perfectly exp explored on this song and yeah the music on this thing is is wild as fuck like the opening track just when I first heard this, this album and I just hit play on that on that first song I was just completely thrown for a loop because the technicality on display here musically is genuinely really disorienting like there are moments where it will just switch from like one frenzied riff to another really explosive solo to a really delicate soft guitar moment that, and I just think the way it's all paced and structured is just really intelligent. Particularly on the track, it comes in plagues of consciousness. When that when that track first comes in with its really soft guitar notes, fuck. Shit just gives me chills like every fucking time. And the way this track progresses as it goes on and gets considerably more just manic and loose and untamed, it is so fucking great. Like the guitar tones all over this album can range from being really brittle and vulnerable to being really harsh and, and aggressive. And, and I think the way Erica's vocals are mixed on this thing too is pretty interesting because she sounds kind of distant. She doesn't sound like she's right up against the mic. She sounds like she's performing from, from a distance, but the way it's mixed, she's like right in your ear. It's, it's interesting. She's like right there. She never feels buried or anything. She's just constantly just sort of like slightly distorted and sort of gliding on top of everything else that's happening. And I think it's really effective because I think that distance just makes her sound a little bit more kind of of hurt and tortured but the fact that it's like so like you know noticeable it kind of it kind of feels like you can't really shy away from what she's saying there are a couple cooldown moments like the song vow of violence and the slowest color seeping through but these tracks um they, they, they they're kind of they kind of act as just like softer moments in the midst of the chaos but i feel like their placement is a little bit off particularly with vow of violence i think the transition into it is a bit awkward and just kind of feels like a strange little brick wall for 40 seconds and i don't i wish it kind of led into something more interesting or maybe they could like a bit of built a song around what they were doing on this track it just feels a little bit lazy it feels kind of just thrown in the middle for some reason and then you have the the second last track which again same deal i feel like they should just have, have just made a song from what they were doing on this song. It feels a little bit aimless. It just kind of meanders for a minute before kicking into the next track. And some of the tracks end right when they're like kicking into gear, like the song Cerulean Wound, which uh, is fantastic. I love that track, but right on the last four seconds, it gets insanely explosive, like fucking Christ. The last four or five seconds of Cerulean Wound are fucking ridiculous. They're, they're insane. They are pummeling as shit, but it just ends right there. It just makes me wonder like, why did you not just like expand that into something else? That could, could have become like a really great finish to the song, but they just kind of lazily cut it off. The song is depression also kind of does the same thing but i do think this is one of the more creative songs in strangely because there's a moment around a minute 10 seconds or so ish into the track i think where the wall of fucking noise sort of drowns out and just gets replaced by some really like soft and delicate guitar before just kind of hammering back down again it acts kind of like a little brief moment of clarity before just like everything gets destroyed again there is a line in the final track which does kind of take me out of it a little bit the line where it's like i hope your ego falls onto a sharp edge and i hope it drags you down to a world where trends are boring i think that the trends are boring line is pretty strange. It just seems kind of weirdly out of place like in the midst of this like emotional fucking flurry to be all like dude I hope you realize how boring trends are dude. There's also a part on this final track where uh, the instrumentation sort of slowly fades out and gets replaced with this like wave of like chanted male vocals and that part always feels a bit awkward to me before because it just like transitions back to the really explosive instrumental which just seems like a pretty weird little move but that's it in regards to problems in general i think this thing is really powerful and blistering so yeah i would definitely recommend it if anything i've said in this video sounds like something you might like uh because i think it's it's fucking wonderful i'm feeling an 8 out of 10 hell yeah great album love this shit thank you for watching my first album review of the year i'm excited to get back into the regular schedule of dropping these you know and yeah that's everything i got to say on new world obscura's subtitled hope you enjoy the video have a great day and i'll see you on the next one bye